Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Clint McCree. I'm with Source Day. I'm actually the Chief Operating Officer of Source Day based out of Austin, Texas. I'm here with Gene Keolo. He is the President and CEO of Synergy Resources. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about supply chain today, but we're actually here at the Visual Focus uh, event, which I know you guys do every couple of years. Maybe tell us a little about why, the, why you put on the event and what your customers are getting out of it. Yeah, thanks, Clint. So uh, we began this probably about 10 years ago, and um, it's really a, um, an event where our customers, there's, a, there's a roughly 3,000 visual users um, in North America. And uh, so this is a time when they can come together for these few days and really compare notes, get more education on the software that, uh, uh, that visual brings to them, and, uh, and, and basically collaborate on any number of issues. So it's, it's been exciting. It's, right. This year is probably one of our biggest already. So been good. Fantastic. I know I've been to a couple of sessions myself and gotten a lot of value out of it, so I'm yeah. sure your customers are, are doing that as well. Well, again, you know, thank you for joining us. You know, we want to talk a little about supply chain. Of course, the company uh, that I've co-founded is a, is a business that's really focused on the supply chain world. Yep. Um, maybe if you can speak in your words about how you've seen the supply chain and how that's changed over, over the years that you've been doing this. Sure, sure, yeah. So it's been, uh, it's been good changes. I would say when, um, when I began in the ERP space uh, and the manufacturing space, uh, supply chain was a, wasn't yet really defined and it was really more of a purchasing type activity where you tried to get the best price for your product and really price dominated. Mm -hmm. um, what it's evolved to now is more collaboration and, and really the, the more dramatically people are seeing that the supply chain is, a, is, is um, companies that have decided to work together in a partnership and a collaboration mm -hmm. to bring the best value to the, end, to the end customer. So no matter where you are in the supply chain, uh, you need to be part of that value chain. And so price now is a part of it, but things like um, on-time delivery, obviously quality, um, customer and vendor relationships are now mm -hmm. uh, appearing in the forefront. So the definition of a good partner has, has in my mind, dramatically changed in a, in a better way. So. That's great. You know, we've seen a lot of organizations uh, invest heavily in other parts of their business on the sales side with CRM solutions, certainly with ERP solutions that have been around for a long time. Have you seen that customers are more, more willing and eager to take a look at per putting technology in on the supply chain side of their business? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, the, the days of um, collecting things, whether it be on spreadsheets or manually, um, those are fast eroding. Right. They're still out there. Yeah, the, of <laughs> but, course. Yeah, so but, is the fax uh, machine, by the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we, uh, we try hard to get um, our customers to understand that technology is an enabler for them to actually more actively participate in the supply chain. So this, the technology applied to their business and applied both inside their four walls and then outside to the supply chain is the most powerful place that you can be. I, I had one, uh, I just had lunch with a, um, a great customer of ours who's taken uh, um, their ERP systems out to their, their uh, customers and dealerships through mobile devices. Mm -hmm. and it's been dramatic for them. Yeah, yeah. it so. seems like the more and more mobile is, is finding its way yeah. into the supply chain, which is, I think, good for everyone. And in your, your keynote uh, yesterday, you talked about the, uh, the importance of mobile, too, so I got a lot yeah. of that. Thank you for that. Um, so one of the things that we, you and I just had an interesting conversation about technology and lean uh, and somehow, you know, how those two play together. Uh, maybe speak to a little about what you're seeing there from a technology sense, and then if there's anything that you can say towards how that's impacting supply chain, that'd be interesting for, for our group. Yes, so, the, so um, technology and lean at, at some point, not too long ago, were almost seen as um, two sides of the same coin, but the, now two, the, the two of them never met. So we're, we're seeing that change now finally, and I think that's good. So um, this idea of finding where to lean out the manufacturing, the logistics processes, um, source day, I'm sure you guys see it all day. You, right. There is a there is a need to be able to communicate and work with your vendors uh, in the most lean way. Mm -hmm. And uh, that I, I can say for sure, because as I've seen it with our customers, the introduction of the source state technology allows that to happen. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting leaner with technology and, mm -hmm. 
And th so those two words should coexist now, um, not be something that um, we say, well, to lean it out, you have to do things just visually, okay? Which is, a, I mean, that's a right. good element of lean. Sure. Don't get me wrong. But applying that thinking, using technology, getting things easy, convenient is, is where I think the, the battles are going to be mm -hmm. won. Yeah, and you know, the things that I, I've seen uh, is that when organizations are looking to lean out their processes, that oftentimes that leads to more uh, transactions. Yes. And more transactions mean, you know, in more inventory turns uh, and things like that. So that is more difficult for organizations to manage. And so sometimes it helps with technology to be able to manage those in increased demand. Right. And, and to your point, and you create scalable uh, enterprises at that point. Too. Exactly. Yeah, very good.